Question four. So find a property that has a mean, a daily mean total cloud cover of six or greater. So that's just talking about these guys just here, isn't it? Over 184. So if we add those together, that's 132 over 184. You might want to put that as a decimal, 0.717. Right. Now, part B. So we're investigating whether the uh, daily mean total cow cover could be modelled using a binomial. So we're suggesting this just over here. And we need to find a property that X is more than uh, or equal to 6. So your, um, your calculator works on a cumulative basis. So we can work out anything coming up to it quite easily. So I can do that really easily on my calculator. So just having a look at our calculator. So I'm going to pick not binomial PD, binomial CD. OK, so I'm going to pick number one there. And let's just go. I always pick number two is, a, is an option because I only want one answer here. And we've got five. So that's I'm looking at this number here. So it's going to give me the answer to, to uh, x being less than or equal to five because it's cumulative. And n is eight. That's this figure over here. And the probability is 0 0.76. So if I work that out, that gives me 0 0.2967. So one, take away that figure. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.70. O three, right, just there. Okay, and then on part two, find to one decimal place the expected number of days in a sample of 184 days with a daily mean total cloud cover of seven. So what that means is x equals seven, and then we're going to multiply that by 184. Now this is really just testing to make sure I know how to use a calculator properly, because on here the only difference when I'm actually using my calculator is that I'm going to use this one. OK, I'm not using the cumulative. I'm just working out the probability. So it, I'm going to put seven in, I put the other information in and then we can work that out from there. So the actual figure, I think it comes out to be it's like 0 0.28119 times that by 184. Um, and we end up getting 51.7 just there. Right, so part C. Part C, explain whether or not your answers to Part B support the use of our model. Well, yes, they do, don't they? OK, because, look, 51.7 is, is pretty close to 52, if I just read it from the table. So that's like, that's pretty good, isn't it? And also, this figure, they're working out the same thing, aren't they? Like they're referring to the same thing. So I'd make reference to these as well. OK, because they're pretty close. right? We're not expecting them to be exactly the same. They're not going to be exactly the same. Same here. They're not going to be exactly the same. They're pretty close. Right. Let's have now a look at part D. Find the proportion of these days when the daily mean total cloud cover was six or greater. Well, again, that's kind of quite nice, isn't it? So it's just taking take those figures just down there, add them together over over 28 and that gives us 0.821 okay now so comment on the model in light of your answer to part d now six or more that's interesting isn't it because that's that there but when i did it up here it was 0.717 and, and also referring to our model it was 0.703 that's quite a bit different and the reason for that is because it suggests it's not independent. So one condition, one condition for binomial is, is that each trial, or in this case, we're talking about day, should be independent 
independent. And in this case, it's not here. Because if you look at those two values of 0 0.7, 0 0.821, that is quite significantly different. 